Welcome to the 38th episode of the Nordic Sports News Podcast. The world's first daily cross-country ski and biathlon podcast with the latest news from around the globe. Today's topics are the Biathlon World Cup in Östersund and the Cross-Country Skiing World Cup in Lillehammer. Norwegian Vital Sjostad Christiansen won the men's pursuit in Östersund today. He won ahead of Sebastian Samuelsen and Emilion Jacqueline. He had been waiting for the top step of the podium for two years. Winner of the Östersund, Sweden, pursuit this Sunday, Vital Sjostad Christiansen has indeed proven that he can be counted on this winter. The Norwegian biathlon team's shooting coach, Siegfried Mazé. Announced at the start of the season to Nordic Magazine, he turned a corner this summer into the biathlete he is. New bearer of the general leader's yellow bib, Christensen, who almost retired from the Norwegian team last winter, made an excellent start to the season in Sweden. Fifth in the sprint on Friday, he concluded the men's relay victorious on Saturday. A dream weekend therefore for the Scandinavian. This is his second individual World Cup victory, after his success in the Soldier Hollow Sprint in 2019. Second place went to Swedish Sebastian Samuelsen and third for French Emilion Jacqueline. Second in the Östersund sprint last Thursday, Emilion Jacqueline finished third this Sunday afternoon in the pursuit. Vital Sjostad Christensen, winner, becomes world number one. For a few days now, Emilion Jacqueline has been awaiting with unfeigned impatience the great return of direct individual confrontations. This Sunday afternoon, the day after a complicated relay, the reigning two-time world champion in the pursuit showed that this type of race was his domain. Offensive and perfect behind the rifle, he took the lead from the first shooting, taking advantage of an error by Sebastian Samuelson, to finally count a small 15 seconds of margin before the first standing stop. On this shot, Emilion Jacqueline went wrong twice when his pursuers were also missing. So much so that he found himself in the lead with Vital Shostad Christensen and Sebastian Samuelson for a final stretch behind the rifle. The experienced Norwegian was doing the best, signing clean shooting to fly to a second World Cup victory. Behind, Samuelsson and Jacqueline scrambled for second place, finally gleaned in the sprint by the Swede, who nevertheless dropped his yellow bib as leader of the general classification of the World Cup to the king of the day. In the women's race, France crushed the relay. By dropping only four misses throughout the relay, the French women's team, Anaïs Biscon, Anaïs Chevalier, Julia Simon and Justine Brazes, won the relay in Ustasund. A first since January 19, 2019 and obtained in the Temple of Rupolding. This time, it was the Swedish Biathlon National Arena in Ustasund which was the scene of the coronation. Behind, Belarus, Irinal Shchanka, Jnara Alambakava, Elena Krushinkina, Hanna Sola, reigning Olympic champion, finished second at almost a minute. This is the first time since 2001 that the French have won a race with such a lead. Finally, the Eberg sisters Sweden tops Norway at the post for the last place on the podium. Now, let's check the Lillehammer World Cup relay races. Norway dominated today's men's relay in Lillehammer, the first of this 21-22 cross-country skiing season. Disappointing during the first weekend of competition in Ruka, the Norwegian were present in this men's cross-country ski relay in Lillehammer. At home, the two teams entered were on the podium, first and third. Johannes Hoslot Klobo, last man of the team, settled all his opponents in the sprint. The second Russian team completed the podium. Victorious already on Friday in the sprint, and new holder of the yellow bib of the general leader, the multiple Olympic medalist signed his second victory of the weekend. Just like Simon Hegstad Kruger, revenge after his failure in Ruka. The 28-year-old skier himself won on Saturday's individual skate. With the two men, Eric Valnes and Emil Everson had done the job in the first two stints, in classic style. The Norwegians have thus proved their domination on the Lillehammer tracks. And yet, they got scared at the end. Only two tenths ahead of the second Russian team at the finish, led by Sergei Ueshagov, Johannes Hosflot Klebo did not crush the competition as usual. It's good to see that he looks a little human, Emil Everson responded to NRK, speaking of his teammate Klebo. The three-time Olympic champion did not seem reassured on arrival, I was a little surprised that so little happened on the penultimate lap. It was a bit of a shock in the final, but the most important thing was to go first before the last hill. In front, throughout the race, Russia failed to dominate the Norwegian rival. Ivan Yakikumushkin, last man of the first team, could not do better than fourth. Sergei Ueshagov, for his part, was more prominent. He made the Scandinavian doubtful in the last few meters. Unbeaten since December 8, 2019, in Lillehammer precisely, Norway takes its revenge and shows that it will still be necessary to count on it this winter. But Russia has not said its last word and will meet in Davos next weekend. 
On the other hand, at the women's race, it was Norway's first defeat since 2007. And to everyone's surprise, the Russians won the women's cross-country ski relay in Lillehammer. It is a huge thunderclap and a terrible disillusionment for the Scandinavian country. Sweden raced for the second step of the podium, thanks to Moa Olsen, with Norway finishing on the third position. In this women's cross-country ski relay in Lillehammer with a crazy finish, the Russian Veronika Stepanova seemed to be badly embarked at the start of the last lap. After Helene Marie Fossism attacked in the first hill, the 20-year-old cross-country skier managed to keep up her pace without falling behind. It was in the last hill that the two-time Russian junior champion at Kirofo Chepetsk last winter put in a devastating acceleration. Behind, the Scandinavians were powerless. Second skier in the victorious relay, Natalia Nepraeva was able to stay in contact with Frida Carlson throughout these five kilometers. It was a very difficult race. I tried not to control anyone, but to go at my own pace, she told Sports.ru. This is the first victory for the Russian women's relay since 2004. And that's all for today folks. Stay tuned and subscribe to our channels on YouTube, Spotify and Instagram. Just type Nordic Sports News on these platforms and access our content. Thank you so much and see you tomorrow in the next episode. Information credits to Nordic Mag. NRK and Sports.ru